hi guys welcome to evolving Frances, where i invite you to grow through life with me in my several expressions <laughs> yes that's going to be the routine yeah <laughs> hi guys how are you and welcome this is vlogmas all right so yeah today is the 12th of december and guess what it's the third year anniversary for my call to bar so this day three years ago on um, this in December 2017 I was called to bar and 12th of December so today is three years anniversary of that call to bar so yeah I'm excited because every little thing deserves to be celebrated it's in the little things it's in the bits and processes that we come to the destination <laughs> okay yeah so today i'm going out for a dinner later in the evening yes <laughs> so i have a dinner later in the evening and i have to leave from ikorodu all the way to the mainland because mm -hmm. my parents stay in ikorodu and ikorodu is really 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 far from everywhere because of the traffic it's not really far but the traffic is crazy so i would have to leave but before then this is about seven seven yeah i don't know if i can show you my research yeah basically it refuse to focus because it's in my face but if you can see it's about seven something like seven 725 yes 725 and i have to go out for my parents first this morning i have to run some errands for them so by the time it's 12 i should be back then get ready to leave ikorodu because i have to get out of ikorodu on time and yeah i hope you guys stay tuned to the end of this vlog yes i'm really really excited about this um day and i hope it turns out fine you see that subscribe button there just subscribe turn on that bell yeah that one exactly yeah all right there bye keep remaining blessed keep expressing yourself keep doing all what you can one quick one quick thing i have to say before i leave and in regards to the festive season i know 2020 has been an amazing year we've learned a lot of lessons for this year so i would just say be reminded of what 2020 has taught you stick around with your family your loved ones share love share joy because everyone is probably going through it so yeah the best you can do is to be a reason for them to smile and that's why i'm here now i hope you are smiling now smile now can't you see my <laughs> see my teeth <laughs> all for you <laughs> you better smile because i want you to smile that's why i'm doing this okay all right Take one, take two, and action! Hi guys, welcome back. So today is um, a couple of days after the last. <laughs> uh, yes, the dinner was amazing. Mostly because, not because the Lagos restaurant system was good. Because it wasn't, 
to be honest lagos say eh, is calm but what matters most is um the experience and being with my favorite person yeah so yeah <laughs> this i think nigerian pepper soup eh? it needs no argument this is not about all those oh nigerian jollof is better than ghana jollof when senegal actually owns jollof <laughs> you get me <laughs> but this right here is heavenly focus on this pepper soup now yeah you see all that all that goodness all that yumptiousness Ugh. you can't trade that for anything so back to this video okay so today i'll be having my pepper soup prepared by my mom while ranting okay um, i'm just here to talk about right now i just want to talk about what's on my mind which is what has been on my mind for a while now which is the african union youth volunteer corps program which is the auyvc cohort 2021 i guess it's supposed to be the 11th cohort yes the 11th cohort of the african union youth volunteer service corp program so i applied for it it's i think the application closed sometime in august i think october august 16th or 18th I think August 16th, I'm not so sure, but it closed around that time and I put in my application. So the African Union Youth Volunteer Corps program um, started in, I think, 2010. And yeah, it's like, a, it's like a continental development program organized. It's a continental development program organized for youth volunteerism in africa and they seek to you know um, gain cohort of youth who are willing to volunteer um, their skills and their expertise to the development of the continent so how it works is upon selection youths that are chosen will be put into different um african union bodies or organizations if i may put it that way um, where they can volunteer their skills so it's somehow tailored selection is somehow tailored to their personal or <laughs> let me include myself by fit somehow tailored by our personal expertise and yeah so basically that was what i applied for i'm privileged to also be uh, a previous scholar of the pan-african university program which is the pow program um water policy in algeria so basically having applied for this program uh which closed sometime in august like i mentioned it's been over three months way over three months i think yeah four months since we applied and <laughs> basically like we've been waiting you know because to be honest many let me let me just give a bit a bit of rant for the fact that i finished um my master's program been trying to apply for jobs from where i am currently of course not restricted to where i am right now but like jobs that are related to my interest path and my career path okay but most of these roles are requiring experience most of these rules that I want, they are requiring like professional experience, not just volunteerism experience, because I have a whole lot of volunteer experience. Right from my undergraduate years, I have been volunteering. Like yo, I've been a volunteering. So now it's time to work and make money while working, you know, in my career path and field. But I mean, most of those roles are requiring expertise, like expertise and professional experiences in the field. What's going on? Please don't find me so basically like because of that i put in a lot for auvc auyvc sorry which is the african union youth volunteer corps because it's a voluntarism experience number one it is in the african union number two like it's a paid voluntarism experience sorry i have to go back to number one paid voluntarism experience which is fair enough pay you know and 
it gets you the chance to like explore and visit several other places right so because it is so in sync with all of that i have been so much like interested in getting this opportunity it builds you on leadership the experience is amazing like i can't wait to have this experience and i'm really looking forward to it fingers crossed yeah now that i've explained all of that why am i ranting since we applied in like august that's like the ending of the application of which i applied yes i was able to apply way before like i applied before like in july i i can't remember and there was an extension there was an extension of application right because people were complaining so yes with the extension and everything i was like okay whenever they close they will start selection right they closed about like august and to be honest <laughs> i've been so chilled about it but i'm t i'm i'm really really anxious for you guys i really want this opportunity and i haven't applied for a while now you know i was so scared like oh is it that they've selected people and they didn't contact us or all of that but then you know god comes through you know just when you feel like oh is anything working is everything working so yeah we got a notification yesterday i think it's yesterday right let me just read what they posted okay so this was posted by the au youth program and the au volunteer like it's a youth youth volunteer course program as well so i'm going to read it in english and it's also posted in french dear auyvc applicants thank you for your patience in waiting the outcome in awaiting the outcome of the applications of the 11th cohort of the african union youth volunteer course program this year due to the global pandemic the process of shortlisting applicants and selecting the 11th cohort had to be conducted virtually and to ensure that it is carried out to the usual high standard of the selection process it has taken a lot longer than in previous years due to the above successful candidates will be notified in january 2021 we wish you the best of luck and invite you to stay connected to our website www.1m by 2021.au.int and social media platforms for further updates on the application um yeah it's also written in french on their website on their platform like you can check them out on you can check them out you can check this is the this was the notification that was put up i don't know if you can really see but yeah basically so you can check it out on so you can check it out yeah so ever since i read that message it just feels like <laughs> i feel the hope you know the hope the hope everywhere i was so excited to read that message so right now it's just fingers crossed while putting up other opportunities like putting up applications for other opportunities it's just finger finger crossed please guys pray for me oh hey pray for me because i really like this this particular volunteer experience and i really really want to get it like i really do want to get it like my mind has been on it for so long so yeah that is my rant about this program so right now i'm just going to head straight back to my laptop and i have to deliver some work yeah <laughs> i have to deliver some work and yeah basically um also yeah i have to review some of my some of my what is it called now modified cvs because i have to like modify my cv to every different role i'm finding basically so yeah it's still the job search going on and i'm grateful i'm really really grateful i'm really grateful for god's opportunities in my life i'm not going to lie like I've been so blessed in life and i cannot in any way undermine the place of god so whilst going at you know the different applications back to back the place of god is still at the not at the back of my mind it's still in front of my mind because he's the one who seasons everything and make it beautiful in his own time so i'm really trusting him on this one again 
is the same God who was there for me in the midnight hour. Is the same God, is Jehovah, my great provider. Tell me why you're giving up on God. Well, that's it right there, guys. So, this babe, which is a speck right now, is about to go back to her pepper soup. <laughs> And I'm going to get to work on my laptop. So this is the end of the vlog. Yeah, before I go to bed, I'm going to catch you guys again. All right. so guys it's been a long day and i'm about to go to bed yes i'm about to go to bed i really hope you enjoyed this vlog this is my very first vlogmas i really do hope you enjoyed watching it um if you did let me know in the comment section please <laughs> if you didn't if you want to see anything new anything different please do let me know in the comment section i really appreciate that i really like all the lovely comments you guys give you know all the love and everything and i would really appreciate if you like give me um your suggestions as well I do appreciate all and all of your love and support yes so guys I'm so so tired it's about yeah it's about 1 a.m. right now and I'm so tired I just want to go to bed and sleep so let me know if you did enjoy watching this vlog I appreciate each and every one of you and I thank you for joining me um on this journey okay thank you very much once again i love you with your girl francis here again and hope to see you in my next video okay keep coming back i love you guys we to 200 subscribers oh remember please invite your friends your loved ones and people you think will like my vlogs and my videos so come subscribe please thank you so much keep sharing my videos i think i'm fun yeah i believe i'm fun so yeah thank you so much guys i love you guys Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> thank you guys bye